Hi everyone, if you've seen my other videos, you know I've done a review of Infinite Paper Pro. This is Endless Paper, it's competitor. It's priced at $9.99 versus $4.99. I'm going to walk you through the different tools in here and let you know what I think. So just like Infinite Pro, this is an Infinite Paper program so you can draw something and then zoom in and draw something and just keep zooming and zooming and zooming left, right, up, down, in, out. And it stays crisp and clean. Tools are a pen, kind of like a marker brush, technical pen, a marker, and an eraser. And down here you have swatches of color. If you double tap a color, color swatch panel comes up and you can pick any color you want. If you tap the star down here, Underneath the color swatches, it helps you draw a perfectly straight line. It will not let you do shapes. I'm trying to bend for like maybe a square here and it just lets me rotate it, but let you draw a straight line. Top left is undo and redo. You can slide out the tools to change the size of a brush. Um, depending on the brush, that will have different options. Um, you can also have more swatches here for your colors. If you tap the uh, endless paper logo in the top right, it will go to your gallery so you can store files here and organize them. You can export as an image and you can also kind of choose where you want to export or not where, what part of the image you want to export and you can zoom in and get the image you want and it'll save as you can see as a PNG file. Um, one of my biggest complaints um, about this app is there is no text tool. A text tool would be a huge help and make it so much better um, right now you just have to write whatever words you want to have in the app there is no um, if you're using procreate often there's no kind of autocorrect of the lines to smooth things out it's pretty much a freehand drawing app and it's not really a drawing app it's a presentation app and that's one of the things um, you need to keep in mind these aren't made to be procreate these are made to uh, do presentations it also has a broadcast um, tool that lets you kind of um, almost like airplane your um, presentation to another device. I haven't tried that. You can take images from another window like Safari, for example, and drag them into endless paper. Um, once they are there, you can arrange them. You can also trace them. One of the things um, I have found when tracing, some of the tools work better than others when tracing. I'm not really sure why. Um, and you can see I can enlarge it, rotate it, put it anywhere in the app. Right now it's transparent. If I lock it, it the transparency goes away. If I want to bring that back, tap and hold, and I can move it around. A must feature of these kinds of apps is a bookmark feature. So if you go to bookmark in the top left, there are predefined bookmarks like the global view, which shows you the entire thing, um, the origin, which is the starting point, and a session. You can also add bookmarks as you go. So I could zoom in and then go to the bookmark and add a bookmark, give it a name and constantly do that. That way, um, if you get lost in a presentation as you're doing it, you can kind of go back to certain points or if you just want to have certain points marked for you to continue on or defined easily. I will say um, I have contacted their support team several times and they quickly reply and are a great help. Um, overall, and this paper is a really good infinite paper app for making presentations. Um, it'd be really cool if you could export a movie of your presentation, but you have to kind of do a screen capture for that. It does not work on the iPhone, something that Infinite Pro does. Um, but the drawing tools in this app are better than Infinite Pro. It's also a little pricier depending on what your needs are. You have to decide which one you would go with. Overall, I'd give Endless Paper probably a four and a half out of five. It's not perfect yet. Drawing tools could be better. Would love to see that text tool and a way to export a video of your presentation. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.